So you try and distinguish each group's willingness to pay by doing what? Offering different packages of price and quantity. So that low willingness person will be moved on to, shifted on to low quantity at cheap price, but high quantity. So you deliberately lower the quantity offered to low willingness person so that you can extract more from high demand, high willingness person. What was the third degree? Oh, no. 그냥 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 눌렀는데 어떻게 딱 여기로 가냐 신기하게. 오케이 okay, 3급 가격 차별은요. 전화 오케이. Yes. Different characteristics, student discount, elderly discount, etc., etc., etc. So that you can distinguish between consumers based on their group, their inherent characteristics, which will allow you to do what? Separate their elasticity. You are a student because, you know, the fact that you're a student means you probably have higher elasticity for, I don't know, going out somewhere or something like that. Which also explains why um, roses cost a lot more to buy. I mean, obviously, there's greater demand, but around Valentine's Day and White Day, because why? To stay in a relationship, you've got to hand in those roses. Simple as that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean that, that's the no elasticity there, no nothing, right? Well, you know, I mean, you've got to do what, what, a, what a man's got to do, what a man's got to do, or a woman's got to do what a woman's got to do. That's it. So that's there. And then we talked about bundling towards the end, MS Office, etc. Um, and then we briefly touched on two-part tariffs as well, which was what? That when you go to somewhere like Everland or Lotte Aquarium or somewhere like that, generally high demand people pay very little per visit. If you go to resorts like Taemyeong, Hanwha, Risom, wherever, you know, if you are a member, if you hold a membership there, you pay very little per visit price. Firm makes a loss, but how does the firm recoup its losses? Through what? Membership fees. You know, there's a reason why a membership has somewhere like Ananti, one of those like top end golf resort chains there in Korea. 남해도 있고 가평에도 있고 몇개 있습니다. Trades above, I, th I think it was last time I looked at it, it was something like 250 million won. There's a reason for that, so that you can distinguish those who are high demand, those who need to go to those golf courses and do a rounding um, on a business related purposes or whatever, very often, from someone who may occasionally want to visit, but they're not too bothered by going there time and again. Yep. Now, monopolistic competition. I think that's one thing that we see a lot. Um, the monopolistic competition, I don't want to talk too much about it, but it's one of the most common things that you see here in Korea, particularly for restaurant-related businesses. It has two distinct characteristics. The firm is a price taker to an extent. It has slight market power, but very little barrier to entry. So what sort of industry would fit this sort of definition? Sorry? Um, what sort of industry would be a good example for this sort of monopolistic competition where the firm has slight amount of market power, so it's not a price taker. It can adjust its price a little bit, but there is virtually no barrier to entry. New firms can come in very easily. There's a very good example in Korea. I can think of a very common, a similar example for Britain, and to an extent, I think, Germany, Austria, and as well. Can you think of one? In Korea, what would be a very sort of 
good example for this. What sort of restaurant? I mean, like, Chen Sak Chef's Elbon or, or someone like Oh Sedek Chef's Chulai or somewhere like that. That wouldn't fit the definition of a monopolistic competition. That would be closer to monopoly. So what sort of restaurant are we talking about here? Yes. Local restaurants, but particularly, I mean, you, do you guys do Chinese deliveries here as well, to an extent? Hardly ever? You do? Not here. Not here. Practically live of that in Berlin, right? Um, same here. Um, you guys order a Chinese takeaway from a particular place, even though it might be slightly more expensive because it tastes better. They do a nicer sampon. There's a lot more mussels and and clams and um, 짬뽕에 또뭐 들어가죠? 갑자기 생각이 나네. 조개, 홍합, 또 prawns and um, cuttlefish and stuff like that in it. So you, even though the prices are slightly higher, you would probably still buy it. Okay. The most common example for European countries that I can think of, curry places. You know, your, your local town would have a couple of you know, like Indian restaurants where you can go and order, like, oh, is that such, is that a British thing? Or kebab places. Yep. That would be closer to in Germany, right? You will have more than one kebab place in um, 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 your local town, right? But they'll be competing. But you would go to a particular place because even though it might be like 20, 30 cents more expensive or 50 cents more expensive, you know the guy. You support the same football team. He does a nice deal with you. He, he gives you extra cheese on your chips and, you know, may occasionally give you free drinks or something like that. So there you have a, what Koreans would call, tangul, right? Now, you would stick with that place even if they raise price a little bit because, you know, it's a customer relationship you built on it already. 다들 단골 하나씩 있으시죠? 뭐 중국집이 됐던 뭐. So if, if you're, oh, who told me that? Some, someone here told me they were in like a band of something. 파경 무슨 밴드 동아리 한다고 그랬었는데요. 이해장 누가 누구였던 것 같은데 뭐 그런 거 있지 않나요? 파 여기에. So like if you do a band practice or something like that, then 아니 나 누가 누가 나한테 얘기했었어. 수업 끝나고 나가는 길에 기억을 못해서 문제죠. 그 누가 누군지를. But like you, after band place, you would go for like a, a beer and chicken. You would normally stick to the same place, you know, perhaps because they give you, they use bigger chickens or they fry it nicer or 거기가 바삭바삭해, 거기가 소스가 좀 나. Always have a place like that. That, everyone, is monopolistic competition. Firms have market power. So the first condition is satisfied. But frying a chicken or doing the, the, the jajangmyeon, or in that case, the scraping the meat off that kebab thingy, going around, 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 on a kebab, it's not particularly a barrier to entry thing. You know, you can practice on it a little bit and then you can open a place yourself. Similarly, you know, like you can, you can learn how to, you know, get the chicken off a place, um, put salt and pepper on it, um, marinate it a little bit and then just do the, um, the, 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 the flour and, and then breadcrumbs, etc. And then you would fry it at 240 degrees C. Now you know that I've done a bit of part-time work at Chicken Place. What I'm saying is, entry-wise, there isn't that much, if you like, barrier to entry. It's quite easy to set up a kebab place. It's so easy to set up a curry place. Easy to set up a Chinese place. So this, that sort of industry has elements of both pure competition and monopoly together. But that free entry is the key. Because in the long run, the firm's industry's profits are driven down to zero. All firms break even in the long run. Because if a Chinese industry is doing particularly well, if a Jim Tak place is doing incredibly well here in Korea, what happens? 
everyone does it. Everyone moves to become Jim Duck Place. Everyone goes to become the new Brew Duck Place. Everyone goes to become new Paddock Place. What? At one place, at one point in time. Um, where I was living while I was at Yuksa, um, the, the military academy in Gongneungdong, near that area, there were at least four paddock places I could go to at one point. Now it's all like, I don't know, they've done M&A or some way of closed the place or whatever, but there's only one or two remaining. But essentially the industry is like this. The demand is downward sloping. Firm is at its profit maximizing point, so MRMC meets, but it's different from monopoly. No long run profit is possible. Nothing. If there's a profit, someone new will come into the industry and take away that profit from you. Okay? Simple as that. 반드시 다른 사람이 들어오기 때문에 so look at this. At everywhere else, AC is above P. So everywhere else the firm will be making a loss. Only at the profit maximizing point the firm breaks even and does nothing else. And that's the reason why all the people, all the self-employed people working in the restaurant industry in Korea are leading such a difficult life. That's the exact nature of that industry. Unless you, that's, that's the reason why we ended the lecture where I said, watch the solution, and I said, be the differentiated person so that you can move on, move out of that industry. That's the only solution out. We wouldn't consider somewhere like, sorry for Korean reference, but I'm sure there's a Danish equivalent, somewhere you would queue for 40, 50 minutes to eat, right? We, we have places like that. No? Surely there must be a place. I don't know, I mean, there must be a famous place where, so for example, if you go to Vienna or somewhere like that, there's a particularly famous cafe where you, um, where like Klimt and um, Egon Schiller and people like that um, discussed all these important artistic matters. And if you go there in July and August, people queue up. Similarly, there's a Wiener, um, the, 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 the Wiener Schnitzel place called, yeah, where you, there were the, there were the tourists, queue for hours to eat. Yeah, but, but the, the, I don't know why, but the, 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 there are places like that. Even so, like, even so, there are a couple of really famous ones like Fegermüller and places like that. Yeah. Yeah, so somewhere like that. How do you emulate? How do you, uh, this is a marketing perspective. How do you emulate? 1940, 51년 1월 4일. 흥남 초도에서 철수하여 뭐 김봉남 할머니께서는 신당동의 자리를 잡으셨습니다. 그 다음에 65년 동안 바뀌지 않은 레시피로 So like 65 years of tradition, 80 years of tradition, that's a barrier to entry. You know, like Fegermüller is the, 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 the place in Vienna that everyone goes to for schnitzel. Even though you can get it everywhere. They, they thrive on the fact that they were the first to be established in 17 whatever, around the time of Mozart. So that's the point. That's a barrier to entry. You don't go to a place all the way, to, you, don't, you fly all the way to Vienna as a tourist, then you wouldn't go to a schnitzel place that just opened. You would deliberately have it at a place that's been going for 200 and odd years, even though it tastes exactly the same. There's a reason for that. Same here in Korea. The reason why we go to places like so that's a very Aje thing to say, but there's a reason for that. Tradition creates, but tradition is essentially acting as a barrier to entry. Why do you think that the only places that have survived? So I live near Shindangdong, which is famous for Dokboki. And the only three places that have survived and thrived and where everyone queue are the one that is established by Kim Bong, Mabong Yi Halmoni, Mabong Yi Halmoni, or the first daughter in law store, or the last, the, the youngest son's store. Everyone claims relationship to Mabong Yi Halmoni. 
And then if you go to that place, they say exactly what I said earlier. 1951년 1월 4일 흥남부도에서 철수하시어 서울의 빈손으로 도착하신 할머니께서는 <웃음> Yep, that is essentially a barrier to entry. The barrier to entry needs not be a random patent or license or anything like that. Tradition can be a very powerful barrier to entry. If we cover monopoly, monopolistic competition, competition and oligopoly, you basically cover all there is to the market. Okay? And this is probably the most common, another most common type of market structure that we see in practice. So if for our mobile phones, who can we register with? KT, SKT, and LG. And now Hellovision's now been emanated by MSK, so that's out of the option. Similarly, home internet, Okay, KT, SKT, LG, U+. Um, and, you know, other household items like in Seoul, what, what are the social brands that we can have? I mean, think about it. There aren't that many homegrown brands, are there? It's just going to be Chamise or Chomchorom. All the variant on that, Chamise or Chamong or Snari, Tom, or whatever, but that. Or, oh, by the way, I've just thought of another useful example for monopolistic competition. All the internet cafes in Korea are a very good example. Little market power, you know. 주인분이 컵라면 자주 잘 주시는 곳으로 보통 이렇게 가면 조금 비싸져도 가죠. 하지만, but, you know, little barrier to entry there as well. Um, now, Another example of oligopoly, can we think of something else? Um, let's bring in. So oligopoly can be very difficult to fathom to begin with, but strategically speaking, there are three ways that they can, that the market will end up in three different ways. You either compete over product, you compete over non-price elements of the product, so quality differentiation, or you collude. Cartel. Simple as that. Price competition, non-price competition, collusion. The market will see well, a variant of both or one or the other. So Seoul to Jeju route that Jujin Aksin pointed out um, is very close to price competition. There's lit I mean, who's, who's going to fly on the business class on a 50-minute flight from Seoul to Jeju? Hardly anyone, right? So there's little differentiation in quality, meaning price is anything, everything they can just compete over. Or if we go back to somewhere like the Bears example, you can collude. Industry, main players in the industry can get together like a gang and then they can fix the price, more or less, which I'm hoping that all of you are working on in terms of assignment now. Yeah? And then there's always, you know, element of non-price competition, you know, like if you choose our product, our product gets faster internet access than the rival companies, that's That's the only part of the course, this is the only part of the course where you need to know calculus. I think explaining this without calculus makes it a lot more difficult, deliberately. So, um, I'm going to show you how firms compete using very simple calculus, okay? Now, there are three main competition sort of outcomes that you can see. So, I said oligopoly will end up with price competition, non-price competition, and collusion. Now, if you nitpick the price competition part, the firms colluding over the same product, you end up with broadly three sort of scenarios, okay? One is the firms both decide on quantity, how much to produce. But one firm sets its output before the other firm. That's called a Stackerberg model. So, 처음에 볼 케이스는요, 두 회사가 
생산량을 결정하는 경우입니다. 근데 한 회사가 먼저 움직이고 그 다음에 다음 회사가 생산량을 결정하는 경우예요. 농심이 먼저 움직이고 삼양이 쫓아오던지 하는 식으로요. 오케이? Second, both firms set output but at the same time, simultaneously. That's called a Cournot quantity model. Third, both firms set price, not quantity, but price simultaneously. That's called Bertrand model. These three are the only things that we're going to cover. Okay? I'm telling you that I'm going to probably ask either Stackerberg or Cournot in your exam. A simple case. It's, it's going to be a calculation-based answer plus explanation. I haven't said which one I'm going to ask. So that's the sort of my element of uncertainty. So I've already given you two topics that will come up for definite. One, second degree price discrimination, and B, either Kuno or Zuckerberg. Or both. Who knows? Okay. Zuckerberg describes a situation where there's a leading firm in the industry. Now, for our exchange students, um, you guys have had some ramen here. Presumably, you bought some, has some, right? Um, there are some main, main companies, but the dominant one in the industry is, at the moment, Nongshim, Shinnamyeon, Nansang Kangnen, etc. There are other ones like Sam, Samyang or Paito, but less, you know, major. So, if you have a natural leader within the industry, say firm one, it will choose its output Y1 first. Then, firm 2 responds by choosing its output Y2. Now, the firm has to either choose output or choose price. You can't choose both. Price를 선택하든지, quantity를 선택하든지 둘 중에 하나죠. 두개 못합니다. 1억짜리로 뭘 만들어 놓고 니네 다 사. 이럴 수는 없잖아요. 아파트. 미분양이 왜 생기겠습니까? So, the market equilibrium, however, will not just be defined by the firm's individual output, but by the entire output produced by both firms. 그쵸? 라면을 살 때, 일단, so one assumption you have to make here is that um, both Companies' products are identical to each other in all respects. No differentiation at the moment. To be simplifying the matter, okay? 그냥 농심 라면이든 삼양 라면이든 내게 필요한 건 라면입니다. 다른 건 필요 없고요. Then, how much 농심 produces and how much 삼양 produces together will satisfy the market demand, okay? So, the price that they can get is dependent on what? how much you produce, but also depends on how much your competitor produces as well. 이게 전략인 거죠, 이게 전략. 제가 뭘 할지를 알고 그거에 맞춰서 반응해야 된다는 거. 이게 중요한 겁니다. The fact that I need to respond to what the firm, the other one is expected to do, that creates a sort of strategic decision making. 전략적인 선택이 필요해요. So I will assume a very simple linear demand function, A minus BY. The more output the firms make, the lower the equilibrium price there will be to clear the market. 라면을 많이 만들어놨으면 재고가 엄청 많을 테니까 그 재고를 다 클리어하려면 어떻게 해야 되겠어요? 가격이 낮아야 되겠죠. So the, the more the firms produce overall, the lower the price that they can carry, right? So let's look at the followers produce. Follow followers produce. Okay? Now, we know that the market price will be determined by A minus BY, which means how much you produce and how much the leading firm has produced together we determine market price 
okay? But your revenue is that P times how much you produced, Y2. 이해 되시나요? 시장 가격은 나와 상대방의 연합적인, 그러니까 전략적인 선택의 결과로 정해지는 거고 그거에 곱하기 그 가격에 내가 생산량을 해줘야 뭐가 됩니까? 나의 수입이 나오는 거죠. 레벤이가. So, everything inside this bracket is the market price determined by how you produce and whatever the other guy produces times your own output minus the cost of producing your output. Okay? Yes. Everything inside the bracket is the market price. The market price is determined by A minus B times total output in the entire market, which is what? You, how much you produced plus how much the other guy produced as well. Yeah? But your revenue is that price times however much you produce. So the first term here is the revenue and the second term is your cost. Okay? Yeah. Thank you. But look at this from the follower's perspective. Follower. I'm the follower. I move second. Okay? At my decision-making point, the leader has already chosen output. Can I influence this decision? No. Not directly, anyway. So why one should be treated as constant when I make a decision? Why one is constant? The leading firm has already made a decision. I can't know what he will do. I can't influence it. My choice has no bearing on it whatsoever. 그죠? 쟨 이미 선택한 거잖아요. 선택한 거에 남은 그건 주어진 상황에서 해야죠. 그죠? So the first order condition is if you differentiate everything there. With respect to what? Y2 treating Y1 as constant. Okay. Now, AY2 minus B Y1 Y2 minus B Y2 squared minus C2 Y2 Differentiate this with respect to y2, holding y1 constant, what do you get? a minus by1 minus 2by2 minus mc2y2, marginal cost, equals 0. Or that equals that. Simple calculus. Which is what we see here. Now, to make matters simple, also in the exam, I will ensure that marginal cost is zero. Just to be, you know, simple. MC는 0이라고 해드릴게요. So, what does this tell us? That tells us the optimal reaction of the following firm. For every level of output that the leader decides. 먼저 선도하는 사람이 정해놓은 아웃풋이 뭐가 됐든 그거에 따라서 내가 가장 나은 선택을 할수 있는 최적의 대응을 찾은 거예요. 대응을. 대응을. That's why this is called the optimal reaction function. Notice that the more the leader produces, you reduce your own output. Because, you know, just... If you're flooding the market with so much output, that's going to lower the price even more and that's just going to harm your profit more. Okay? So follower now knows how he will react for every given level of Y1, leader's output. 선도자의 생산량이 주어졌을 때 추격자가 어떻게 선택할지는 이제 나와 있어요. Now, you're the leader. What are you going to do? You will have to decide your own output, right? But my question is, 
how are you going to treat the followers I offer you? 내가 이제 선도자라고 생각을 해봐요. 주격자는 이미 정해졌잖아 이제. 선도자인데 내가 이제 내 생산량을 정해야 돼요. 그러면은 상대방의 생산량이 남잖아요. 그죠? 그걸 모르잖아요. 뭐라고 가정을 하는 게 내가 가장 합리적인 겁니까? You don't treat Y2. You're the leader. If you're the leader, you don't treat Y2 as constant. Never. Ever. You know that if you make the first move, the other one will react accordingly. So you have to optimally take into account if you want to make a decision. Relationship related example now. Okay? If you think, if you really, really, if you're really hopelessly in love with one of your someone else, but you know that he's, okay, for guys, okay? But you know that she's thinking of you no more than a good friend, okay? Then, you will never make a move unless you're sure that she's gonna, she, her mind has changed, okay? You have to optimally take into account what she will do if you ask her out, and then think about it accordingly. That has to be incorporated into your action now, right? That's how you destroy your friendship. That's the quickest way to destroy your friendship. I've done it a few times in my life. Optimal reaction function is 그만큼 중요한 겁니다. 분명히 여러 번 얘기를 했어요. 나는 오빠를 더, 더 정말 좋은 오빠 이상으로 생각지 않아요. 근데 자꾸 자꾸 <웃음> 이상한 데서 시그널을 봅니다. 날 이상하게 쳐다봤어. 날 좋아하는 건가 혹시? 그러고 ask her out 하죠. 결과가 어때요? 우리 남, 여기 계신 남성분들 결과가 어떻던가요? 딱히 아름답지 않습니다. It's not a pretty result. What do you see, what, what do you what 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 do you hear from them? 오빠 저 저희 사이 부담스럽다고 말씀드렸잖아요. 왜왜 왜 굳이 그렇게 힘들게 만드세요? 왜꼭꼭 꼭 그러셔야 했어? You know it. That's the optimal reaction. Unless you think her mind has changed. Unless there is a, a pretty damn clear objective evidence that this is a sum. You're not going to change it. That's the strategy for you. That's, that's, how you. that's how a firm should react. So, the firm one should never, ever treat Y2 as constant. That's the, the, that's the reason why I'm bringing up relationship as example. Y2 should not be treated as constant. You know how the follower will re react if you make a move. So you have to take that into account in your decision making. So you don't see Y2 here. You take the firm's, the followers, optimal reaction function into your own objective function. And you take that into account when you maximize. 이해되세요? 아까 그, 그, 그 친구와 사랑 사이 example로 생각하시면 됩니다. 확 와닿죠? 와닿는 분들 계실 겁니다. 마찬가지예요. 뭐꼭 요즘 세상에 어디 뭐 남자만 먼저 아스카 그런 거 없습니다. 젠더 뉴트럴, 젠더 블라인 소사이티 중요한 겁니다. 그죠? So, moving, moving on from this relationship example, the firm one doesn't treat Y2 as a fixed value. You know that follower will react like this. So you take that into account in your objective. So this becomes a simple maximization problem. Now let's, let's write this inside out, then you get that. That's just rearranging everything inside. You get this. So once again, assume that the firm's marginal cost is zero, then you can ignore this. So 2a over 2 will equal b y1 or y1 equals a over 2b that's what you get okay but here it's just simple calculation 그 그냥 간단한 계산 이상을 더 이상 요구하는 건 없었으니까 그죠 
knowing y1, knowing that that is this, it becomes 4b. So how much is this? y2 will be a over 4b. So who produces more output? The leader, right? The leader produces more than um, the follower produces exactly half that amount. Add them up, then what do we get? Three quarters in total. But some industries have a clear leader, like Nongshim. But, you know, can we really think of SK as a leader or KT as leader? It's not right. Yeah, they are both in a very pretty, damn, stably, equally sort of relationship, right? So there, we use something else called the Kuhner model. 우리말로는요, 슈타켈버그라고 하고 꾸르노라고 번역이 됩니다, 보통. 그 다음에 이제 마지막 거는 베르트랑 그, 그 저기 그 예전에 스타하던 그 베르트랑 똑같이요. 그 똑같이 번역이 돼서 나오죠. 교수가 부끄러워요. <웃음> 너무 그래. 교수가 부끄러워. <웃음> so, Kuhner model it's still a quantity-based competition. Both firms decide on the output, but they make a simultaneous decision. Not one does it first and the other follows, but they both collide at the same time. They both decide the same quantity of output at the same time. So each firm has to make some sort of forecast about what the other one will do. Okay. You can't, you're not an island of on your own. You're not an island. You are interacting with the other person. What KT does will influence you as an SKT. What you as an SKT does will influence KT. It's a strategic decision making. Like football, like baseball, like everything else. Yeah? Generally, decisions are made simultaneously. Okay? Yes, um, the, the Competition Commission generally works on something called Herfindahl Index, which looks at the firm's market share. And if those firms' uh, market share exceeds around 80%, then we say that even if there are other small firms, they have very little influence in the markets, we call it a duopoly. In the case of aviation industry, Airbus and Boeing together make up way more than 80% of the market share, so that would be one of the perfect examples of duopoly. Also, I hope that answers the question, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's consider firm one without loss of generality. 참 수학에서 자주 쓰는 말이죠. Without loss, W, L, O, G 하고서는 이제, 이제 증명할 때. And then assume that the firm has some expectation about firm two's output. Let's call, let's call it Y2E, okay? Then, let's also assume zero marginal cost. That's well. Then we have no cost. You're free to produce. But market price is from firm one's perspective. I'm firm one. I'm KT, okay? So we have price determined by the aggregate value of my output plus what I think firm two will do. Yeah, that's everything inside is the price that will determine my price and my Y1, my output. That's my revenue, okay? So firm one's reaction function will be found out by differentiating this with respect to Y1 then you will see y1 as a function of what I think firm 2 will do. y2 이를 상수로 두고 미분을 한 거예요. y2를 무슨 내가 어떤 expectation을 놓고 어떤 기대값을 놓고 그럼 그 기대값에 대응하는 게 저렇게 되겠죠. 이렇게. 그죠? 
similarly, from Farm 2's perspective, I have to make some forecast about what the other one, Farm 1, will do. Okay? So, Farm 2's reaction function will be a function of Farm 1's expected output. Good job? So, how do you think equilibrium will happen here? In equilibrium, here's the thing. In equilibrium, your forecast of what the other firm does must be correct. You're right about the other firm, he's right about me, then that's the equilibrium. You can't be wrong. Then if you're wrong, then you made a mistake, and that's not an equilibrium, you lose out, and then it's not a stable thingy. Okay? So in equilibrium, what we see is that these expectations become correct. 그러면, so equilibrium value always has a star. That can be solved pretty easily. That's a, 한 중학교 때 나오던가요, 우리? 연립방 정식이, 그죠? So sort of a middle school to high school level simultaneous equation. You just sub this in here, get y1 star. Sub this in here, get y2 star, and you're done. 그죠? But notice the crucial difference with Stackerberg model. In the Stackerberg case, one firm moves first. So it's not about expectation. Only the leader has to worry about what the follower will do. If I ask her out, will she say yes? Yeah? Okay? So in this sort of a simultaneous decision making process, think of it relationship, again, relationship related example wise. Think of two guys trying to compete over one beautiful girl, or two girls competing over one handsome-looking guy, okay? It's going to be a simultaneous move-making. You know, you've got to think about what the other guy is going to do, and then, you know, the outcome might not be pretty. You know, like, my wife always goes on about how in her 20s when two guys were fighting over her in, in, in blah, 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 and then, yeah. 뭐 양재천에서 비 오는 날두 명이 뭐박 터지게 싸우고 그러던 사람이었는데 뭐 자기와 감, 결혼한 걸 감사하게 생각해라 라는 게 요지죠 항상. So you know like you're lucky to have me as wife is the typical sort of end of the story in the morale of the story is that basically. Okay, but that's a sort of a simultaneous setup. And if you you know, ah, I even said middle school level. Uh, and then you find that. That's the equilibrium. It's not going to be difficult to derive. But notice that the combined output will be slightly lower than the Stackerberg value. 4분의 3이 3분의 2보다는 크죠, 아무래도. Now is the difficult part. For the case of two firms, it's very easy. But if you want to do more than two firms, it's different. Ha. What if there are n firms? Um, well, okay, I'll have to think about exam wise. 이거를 물을 건지 말 건지는 내가 얼마나 관대하게 생각하느냐에 따라 달라지겠지만 그거는 일단 일단 커버는 합시다. 옵션은 있어야죠. So if that n firms and y denotes the total industry output from one's output plus from two's output plus from three's output plus from four's output etc., then each firm's optimizing condition is given by this. So that P contains something of a function of Y. So this is a product rule for calculus. PY directly plus 
you differentiate delta p over delta big Y over yi because if you increase y1 it increase y1 by 1 1대1로 늘잖아요 그러니까 이 p를 이 y로 미분해 주면 곧이 p를 작은 y1으로 한 거하고 똑같겠죠 what i mean by this is delta p over delta y1 yi is delta p over delta big y delta big y over delta y1 but that's just 1 so that's just the only thing that's left okay so that's the mr equals mc part now if you multiply this by y and divide here by y so I've done I've multiplied by y over y, so which is nothing else. Then, what this becomes is just wait for this. P y bracket one plus. There's no p in here. P 가 없죠. 그러니까 여기에 p 를 하나 나눠줘야 p 곱하기 p 되겠죠. Over p. So now it's factorized in. 인수분해가 뒤에서 들어가 있습니다. So that's roughly about. It's not that difficult to follow math-wise. But notice that this is what the inverse of your demand elasticity exactly. 그 마켓 전체 시장 전체 수요의 탄력성의 역수예요. 역수. So you just see. 1 over that, and then y1 over y, and you're done. That's the only thing that I wanted to say. Because if we denote si as your market share, okay, then you can write it like 1 minus si over e. 수학에서 달라지는 건 없죠. 그냥 yi. Y분의 YI를 그냥 SI 마켓 셰어다라고 불러준 것밖에 없습니다. Or you can just divide elasticity by SI. But think about this. Elasticity is your entire market demand each firm's own demand elasticity differs okay 저기에서의 저 엡실론은 시장 전체의 탄력성을 얘기하는 거예요 회사 하나 하나의 탄력성은 다르잖아요 우리 so think about the perfect competition case the market as a whole has a downward sloping demand curve but what does the firm's own demand curve look like? Flat, right? 시장 전체는 이럴지언정 나의 demand curve는 flat 하잖아요, 그죠? 왜 그래요? 나의 market share가 작다 보니까 너무 작으니까 because my market share is so damn small, I just have to accept the price, nothing else. Okay? So it can be shown that I'm not going to prove this. It can be shown that. Epsilon divided by so the firm's market share is the firm's own demand elasticity. In monopoly case, you're the only firm, so your market share is what? One. So market demand is your own demand. In perfect competition case, you're so damn small. You're minuscule. You're the little grain in the entire beach. So your market share is zero. And that's the reason why epsilon divided by zero gives you infinite flat demand curve. Which means that the more the firms are there in the industry, the more the elastic your own demand curve becomes. 시장 내 
참여하고 있는 회사가 많을수록 각각의 회사가 내가 보기 각각의 회사에서 관점에서 보는 from the firm's own perspective demand is more elastic 시장 전체의 디맨드도 중요하지만 회사 하나하나의 탄력성이 중요한 거잖아요 그 탄력성이 더 탄력적이 된다고요 시장 내 비슷비슷한 경쟁하는 회사가 늘어날수록 That's the reason why SK and KT always lobbied a lot to get LG not included in the home internet to begin with, but LG survived, obviously. But, and the oligopoly's power decreases as there are more firms in the industry. That's about it. Um, collision I'm going to cover next week. because you're going to be handing in the report. So I'm just going to do the simultaneous price setting and I'm going to be done. That can be done very quickly. Okay? Now, suppose that... Okay, who am I going to bring in? Kim Tae-yong 학생 and Park Han-jin 학생 are the only two people making 학식 here. Okay? And just like Yuxa, 이사장님 저 suddenly says you have to stay in school for lunch and then bans all delivery. They are the only two people providing 학식 so they are essentially the duopoly. Okay? Now suppose that both Kim Tae-yong 학생 and Park Han-jin 학생 have absolutely no difference in ability in cooking And it costs them exactly the same amount to make exactly the same tasting hakshi. No taste, no difference in quality, no nothing. Suppose that it costs them 1,000 won to make it. Okay? Where are you going to go? You guys are the customers. You are not. Park Young Hwak saying, who are you going to go to? 친세 관계는 뭐 딱히 없다라고 그냥 생각을 합시다. 어디로 갈래요, 그럼? 당연히 어? 싼 데로 가겠죠. 그죠? 그죠? You're obviously going to choose the cheaper place. Okay? As simple as that. What if they both offer the same price then? You're just, it's just going to be randomly allocated, right? I mean, if, if you all go to the same place, then, you know, the queue is going to be incredibly long, so... you're optimally going to split between the two and it's going to be half and half. So suppose that they're both charging extortionate amount at 5,000 won each, even though it costs them 1,000 won to make. 1,000 원이면 둘다 만드는데 둘다 5,000 원을 차지하고 있다고 쳐봐요. 엄청 profit 많죠, 좋죠? But they're dividing the market by half. Now, Park Han-jin 학생, are you going to stay here? Are you, is this going to be your equilibrium? What are you going to do? Lower the price just by a little bit, then everyone will come to Park Han-jin Hak-seng. So think about this. A hundred people are split between each. Okay? So 50, 50. I'm making 4,000 won per meal on profit, but I'm only getting 50. Okay? But what if I lower the price just by a little bit to 4,900 won? 4,900원으로 낮추면 박한진 학생 will capture the entire market. I'm only going to be earning 3,900 won, but what are you going to do? You're going to be covering the entire 100 people plus that come to you. That's better, right? But 박한진 학생 does that. What will you do, Kim Tae-yong 학생, now? lower the price a little further to 4,800 won. That's your sign language, right? Um, so, 4,800. What will you do, Park Han Jin Hak-seng, then? Lower the price. Then, Kim Tae-yong Hak-seng? 아니, 끄덕끄덕이 답이 되진 않아요. Lower the price, right? So, both do that again and again. The desire to capture entire market by slightly undercutting your competitor. Where are you going to stop? Exactly at 1,000 won, where you both have, you're both producing at marginal cost. 
So if the firms compete over price, two firms are enough. Only if there are two firms, they both undercut each other until the point where P equals MC, which was the perfect competition outcome. Curious thing, right? And that's the reason why where in industries where it is difficult to compete over output, like ramen and ramen and stuff like that tend to be quantity-based competition, but if there, there are certain industries where it's only driven by price, why do you think that there's a huge competition over the home internet and IPTV and stuff like that? Because there is nothing else to compete about. Only the price. Well, I mean, you know, I mean, they're trying to differentiate a little bit by KT has um, monopoly on Tayo season four and SKT has monopoly on Bororo season six. That makes parents a difficult choice. But other than that, all price-based competition. That's the reason why people undercut and undercut and undercut each other. And that's the reason why we are beginning to suspect that phone companies, mobile phone companies, there must be some sort of, you know, it could be a lot cheaper. I'm not saying anything more than that, but if they're truly engaging in price competition, then we are not, we should not be ending up with all these AT, Yugi, Yuksa, or AT, Chiro sort of, you know, price tariffs. Okay? So on that note, I'm going to finish all the competition elements. I'm going to start the lecture on collusion, and then I'm going to quickly cover a little amount on game theory on next Wednesday, and that will be us done for the market structure. Thank you. Time is 5.15 exact. Have a great weekend, and see you next week.